Hi, Jonathan Pickup. I'm going to look at the new railing tool in VectorX 2024. You can see it on the screen here. It is really impressive what it can do. But before I get started, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. So this is just going to be a short movie on the tool. But if you'd like to see the extended movie, you need to be a member. So don't forget to hit that membership, join with the membership, and you'll see the extended movie of this. Okay, let's get started. So the tool we're going to look at is the railing tool here. And I'm just going to delete the one that I've already drawn. I'm going to go to a plan view because I find it easier to draw in the plan view. So I've got my railing tool. I'm going to draw from here to there. I want to be a one there, there. And I'm clicking everywhere that I want to post. So I want to post at the top. I want to post at the bottom tread. I want to post there. And I want to finish here. So when we have a look at this in 3D, there it is there. And you can see I've got posts at different locations. That makes it really easy for me to do what I need to do. I'm going to set the height to 900 millimeters above the ground because there's a great thing here with the reshape tool called gravity where it drops it down for me. So my offset is 50 millimeters. That'll just bring it in a little bit. Click on the gravity and bingo, I've now got my handrails going exactly where I want. This is so cool and so quick too. I don't know if you noticed just how quick it was. But I can also change this to, to styled objects. So when I go replace, I can choose a vertical guardrail only, which I think is the one I've already got. Let's now replace that with a handrail only. I think I've got one here which is a handrail only. Great if it was on a wall, that would then just stick to the wall. It would be so cool. And it's so quick to change between one style and another. I've got one here, I think, which is vertical bars, which I created. And there's my vertical bars with the handrail on the inside. So it's got a guardrail plus a handrail as well. So that's the tool. When we have a look at this tool here, you'll see there are loads and loads of settings for it. And I've gone through and updated these settings so that it gives me exactly what I want. And it uses styles, which is nice. When we use styles, we can then import styles from our library. This is the VectorX library. Loads of styles that you can import. And if you unstyle it, then you can go through these settings and you can change these settings to suit your design. So to me, this is a really superb tool. And you might notice that it's just got a little bit out of whack down there. And I'm going to hit my gravity button, puts it all back together again. So that is really cool, I reckon. This is such an improvement over the old tool that we had. And it's now going to make it very flexible, very easy to use, and consistent from job to job. If you want the extended version of this movie, don't forget to become a member. I'm going to make a movie right now, and I'm going to go through the detail of how to make these changes to give us the handrail that we want. Thanks for watching.